Hey everyone, it's your Ice Prince, John Creighton Peterson, and I'm here today to share another great project with you. Today I'm here with some of your favorite iced resin supplies to make this great bezel with a nice Celtic theme that you can use every day of the year or even for St. Patrick's Day. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you how to emboss the metal piece that's going to go inside the bezel. This is the bezel that we're using, so obviously I cut a circle so it would fit inside. And then I just laid my piece of cut metal down onto the embossing plate and ran it through my die cut machine. Very simple, very easy. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to color metal. And I'm going to be using stays on inks and I'm using three different colors of green and also some glaze on layer protectant. This is going to go in between each layer of color so that the colors stay separated so we can really build up the colors. Now that this is colored, I'm just going to put a little bit of the glaze on onto my ink blusher. Now that our glaze on is dried, I'm now adding on our next color, which is the Emerald City. And you can see how that really makes it stand out from the background color. Now we're just going to let this dry and we're going to continue adding colors onto here after our layer of glaze on. I've already pre-mixed my resin and I've let it set up for a few minutes. So now we're going to place our metal piece into our bezel. And first, I'm just going to take a little bit of the resin with my stick and I'm just going to spread it pretty evenly around the bottom. And for this part, what I'm doing is I'm using the resin as an adhesive to hold down the metal. Now I'm going to take my metal piece and turn it over. And I'm just going to put a little bit onto there as well. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to keep air bubbles from forming, hopefully, with fingers crossed, but also this will act kind of as a double insurance to make sure that it's adhered down here. And now I'm going to place that down there, kind of spin it a little bit to make sure we're lined up even. And I'm just lining up the pattern so that it's with the two loops on the end of the bezel. There we go. And now I'm going to just use this to kind of push that down a little bit to help it adhere a little bit. And now I'm going to use, I like using these little Fantastics. And these are great because I just want to put some of the chartreuse German glass just around the edge. So what I'm going to do is just paint this around. And again, this is a super thin coat. If I just put the German glass inside of the bezel, what will happen is all of the German glass is going to flow everywhere. And I just want it just on the inside lip like this. Now that I have my resin on the sides, I'm just going to take my chartreuse German glass and I'm just going to start sprinkling it right along on the inside edge. Now it's okay to be generous with this because it's only going to stick where the resin is and you can always tap the excess off once it's all set and dried. If you have any little excess, you can just kind of brush that off with your Fantastics. And this is a clean one, so don't use the one that has resin on it that you used earlier. And sometimes you might want to just kind of push down the glass a little bit. Now it's time to let this set. And here is our bezel set with the German glass on the sides. And now we're going to get ready for our second pour of resin, which is going to set the whole bezel. I already have my resin already mixed up and it has set for a few minutes to get all ready for the big pour. And I'm going to add this little inclusion right in the middle where there's the dot there. So I'm just going to put a little drop there and a little bit on the back of my inclusion. I'm going to set that in. And now I'm going to start adding in my resin. So I filled up the bezel about halfway with resin. And I did this just so I can show you that with the resin still wet and moving around a little bit, that the German glass is staying onto the sides of the bezel, which is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of the relic glitz in the gold, or otherwise known as some gold glitter. And I'm just sprinkling this on there. I don't want to do a whole lot. Perfect. And now I'm going to finish filling my bezel with 
my resin. And once I have this filled, I'm just going to go ahead and let this set. And here is our finished bezel all set after the second setting of the resin. And if you notice on the sides, there is that chartreuse German glass just glistening away on the sides of the bezel. And to finish off my bezel, all I did was add a tassel here on the end with a nice big crystal. And then I tied it onto one of my wrapped rope chains. Perfect way to finish off this beautiful bezel. For more great project ideas and tutorials, be sure to check out the Ice Resin blog. And to view more of my projects, be sure to hop on over to my blog, artnewwave.com.